So there was this guy named Hugh, and he created a set of moments. And what was really cool about the moments that he created is that they were rotation, translation, and scale invariant. And you see I, I put scale in green here because for what we're about to do, uh, the translation part is taken uh, account by just using central moments. We don't really need rotation invariant that much because people don't tend to do their aerobics at a 45 degree angle. Uh, but we do get scale differences, right? If things are closer to the image or closer to the camera or farther from the camera, things get bigger or smaller. So we want to create some descriptors that are invariant. And hue moments are, are of that type. And we're going to use seven of them. And that's what these seven hue moments are. And I'm going to show you the equations for them. You would never write these down. You would go get an implementation of them because otherwise you'll make a mistake, et cetera. But, but here they are, OK? And in fact, they're so ugly that they don't even all fit on one page. So you see it says this is h1. And that's mu20. Remember, mu are the central moments, OK, uh, plus mu02. And then they uh, continue h6. And then h7 is even more ugly. Uh, there they are. They're just that sort of complicated, ugly thing. All you need to know is we now have a translation and rotation and scale invariant uh, system. So the details of what the, the features do are not that important, uh, except that they behave the way we want them to behave under particular types of uh, transformations. What matters is I'm going to compute these features on both the MEI and MHI, so the binary version and the grayscale version. And that's going to give me a feature vector. And given a feature vector, I can build classifiers. 